Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for January 29th through February 4th. January 29th through February 4th. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong date on the calendar. So, this is for the sign of Aries. This is going to be a singles love reading. What do you have for the singles? Stalling. <laughs> Going backwards. You know, you have good fortune ahead of you if, you if you make a move. You need to stop procrastinating. Stop standing still. You've lacked, you lack confidence. You lack drive. You lack energy. You really have to relight that fire under your butt. It's going to take some hard work. All right? Your hard work will pay off, but if you want changes, you have to do it. You have to take action. You're stalling. I feel like there is a new chapter right ahead of you, but it's not happening because you're not taking any action. There's lack of energy here. Lack of drive. Yeah, you do have a new chapter. There's no doubt about it. It's time for you to step over that finish line. It's, time, it's a time of success. Look at it as that. It's time for a fresh start. You know it is. It's time. It's time for you to trust and have faith and to take a risk. You need to be objective and because, you know, you have a new door opening should you choose to go through it. Yeah. Yep, it's time to bring some balance back to your life. It's time. I think that, you know, your patience has paid off. Okay, but now it's time for a renewal. It's time for you to go down that new path, to take a risk, to really make this change that you've been wanting to make. All you have to do is take the first step. Instead of just thinking about it, do it. Do it. Take the action that will start this new chapter of your life. It's really time. Time. It's this hemming and hawing here. All right. So, I feel like, you know, you guys have been working hard at thinking and coming up with a plan, what you want to do, but you have to take the steps, okay? All right? If you just sit back and wait for nothing to happen, nothing's going to happen. All right? You really have to use your intelligence here and make the move that suits you and you are going to have to be objective and it is going to be risky but you're asked to have faith and trust to go down this new road okay i feel like you are at a crossroads in your life it's a time of renewal and it's really time for you to make some compromises that will serve you very well put it that way It's time for you to stand up for yourself because true love is around the corner and it could make you very, very happy. You may even feel like celebrating, okay? You could be receiving a gift of love if you let your guard down a little bit. It's wish fulfillment, okay? I feel for some of you, there is, this is a period, a time of having... Your dreams come true. Should you really, really follow your inner guide and follow your own path and believe in yourself, it's time to set clear intentions. Okay? Set clear intentions for yourself. Let love in. Take the steps. Have confidence. I feel like it really is a time to celebrate because I feel like there's new love for somebody. Somebody that is watching this is getting an offer of love that is a dream come true. And it could even lead to marriage, okay? Your inner guide is also talking to you, so be sure to listen to it. You are headed down a path of success.
There's a death of an idea here. I see a new beginning. It's like letting go of something. This is the death of an idea. It's time to let go. It's time to move on to a to a higher uh, spiritual realm, okay? A higher spiritual connection, a higher spiritual knowing. And there's a very spiritual feel to this reading, put it that way. It's like you are ascending to where you need to be. You're getting closer to your life's purpose, probably to your soulmate as well. It really feels like it is really... You're receiving the knowledge that you desire, put it that way. The inner knowledge. And I think that any feelings of despair or anguish are starting to dissolve. And there is an, an ending here, okay? We have the death here, and we have the four of swords here. Even though this is reversed, there's an ending that needs to happen. You are being called to follow your inner guide and to trust in your path, trust in your journey, okay? And let this, this uh, chapter that needs to be behind you be behind you. Start the new chapter. Start the new beginning. Step over the finish line. Celebrate your success. But you need to take action. You have a choice to make here. You have a decision to make. Are you ready to let something end? Truly, are you ready to let something end so that you can have this new beginning? This is the death of an idea. It's time to let go of something that doesn't serve you. That's leading, leaving you... Um, whatever this is that you're letting go of... It isn't bringing up your self-confidence. It isn't bringing up your self-esteem. It isn't bringing up your passion. It's keeping it down. It's bringing you down. You need to let go of something in your life that has brought you down. Okay? Big time. Okay? This is you. But it is reversed. Because there's a lack of uh, creativity. There's a lack of passion. There's a lack of drive. There's a lack of, of get up and go. Because it's reversed. And it's because you need to let something go that doesn't serve you. Instead of holding on to it, just let it go. Yes, it's going to be hard. It's not going to be easy. It's hard to let stuff go that you've been attached to. It's kind of like a bad habit. It's hard to let it go. But it's time to move forward. It's time for your transformation. Okay? Both of these cards are transformation cards. They're both cards of transformation. Unfortunately, they're both reversed. So that tells me you are halting your new beginning by not stepping into this unknown, by not moving forward, by not mastering your emotions, by not having faith in the divine, by not letting something end. It's time to let it end. Remember, your thoughts become things, all right? So the reason I say that is 7 plus 13 is 20, okay? Um... It is your thoughts become things. It is a time of manifestation. It is a time of following your intuition. It's a time to have faith and trust in your future. It's time for a rebirth. Okay? It's time for renewal. It's time for you to have compassion for yourself and to love yourself. You're, you are staying in a spot that doesn't serve you. And it's bringing you down. It's time for you to start the healing process and to love yourself again. I feel like there is some kind of loss, regrets, rejection that you are focused on when you really, your, your life is in your hands, your future is in your hands, okay? The future is in your hands. 
Your future is in your hands. You see what's in his hands? But he's looking down at what he's lost. The future is in your hands. Aries. It's time to forgive and move on. Because where you're at right now, there's, there's no passion. You're lacking in that arena. All right? There's no drive. There's no reason to stay here. There's no growth. You're not receiving any positive reinforcement from anybody in this situation. Okay? It's time for you to compromise and realize that it is time for you to appreciate what you've learned from this situation and what the future has for you, okay? It's a time of togetherness, working together with people, being together with pray people, instead of being alone. I feel like there's a lot of insecurity here. You may feel like you're on thin ice. You may feel like you're all alone and, and feeling left out. You're feeling left out. There's a lot of, there's a huge lack of confidence here. Huge. With all these reversed wands. Okay? Somebody is lacking confidence in a very big way. And it's time to flip these cards around and light that fire under your ass and be who you are meant to be. Stop feeling insecure. Stop feeling like you aren't good enough. Move on. It's time to let go. You have to struggle through this. And it feels like you're in no hurry. You just soon sit, sit around and cry. You know, and mope. There's a moping energy here. With this Knight of Swords reversed, it's like there's no action being taken. Oh, there's no rush. I don't really need to let go. I can just live here for a while. Even though I'm unhappy, I'll just live here for a while. You know, I'm just going to stay in this, this mode of unhappiness when I really know that it's time for me to, to move on. But, you know, wah, wah, wah. Um, there could be a new opportunity for you. There's good news coming in regarding a renewal. Perhaps it's your own. Maybe it's a renewed love for yourself. Could be new romance. But when you're in this state of mind, I can't, I can't see how new love would come in when, when there's lack of passion, lack of energy, lack of confidence, lack of self-esteem, lack of love for myself. I mean, I don't see how love can come in when you're in that state of mind. But I feel like, you know, it's really time for you to, to step it up a notch and start loving yourself again. Really, really start loving yourself. I mean, take what's yours, okay? You deserve it. I feel like you feel like you have been defeated. I've been defeated. These power struggles are in your head. All right, you've been having these mental power struggles where you are wanting to prove yourself because of your lack of, com lack of confidence. Do you really need to prove yourself or would you rather be happy? I feel like you may, you may feel like you're being attacked by all different angles. I'm being attacked. You may be feeling like you're the victim. You may be feeling, you may be dealing with somebody that is a bully, or you are feeling bullied, or you're acting like this. Maybe you're in attack mode because, of the, because you feel like you've been belittled in some way. And now you're just, your focus is on anything but love. I don't see new love coming in. It feels like right now, I don't want love. I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to focus on everything but love right now because love sucks. But 
it's time for you to start loving yourself because for some of you, there's an opportunity for love. There is. The Ace of Cups is buried here, right here. There's an opportunity for love, all right? A new opportunity. But you have to look at things from a new perspective and stop feeling like you aren't worthy, like you're not good enough, like you have to prove yourself, like you're being attacked. There's an opportunity for new love to come into your life if you just want to be happy and stop feeling like you need to prove yourself. Just be yourself. Just be yourself. You need to have faith and trust on, in the future. And you need to let the past go. You don't need to carry that baggage around with you anymore. It doesn't serve you. Let the past go. Start your new chapter. Let go of the need to prove yourself. You're worthy. going to get you an advice card. Oh, there it is. Reward yourself. <laughs> You've been giving a lot of yourself lately, and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood, and motivation at a consistently high level. It's time for you to bring your passion back, okay? To light the fire again. I think in one of my readings, I don't know which one, I told you guys to go on a vacation. It's true. It's time. It's time for a renewal. It's time for a rebirth. We have the Empress under here. We have the death, all that stuff, okay? It's time. It's time for you to let yourself heal. Start the healing process. Go through the healing process. It's time to let your, take some time off to rejuvenate your soul. That's what is needed here. There's a lack of energy, lack of drive, lack of passion because you're burnt out. It's time to recuperate. So that new love can come in. All right? So take this time to really reward yourself and bring that passion back, all right? That's your message for the week. Talk to you later.